Hey guys, it's Kodakas here. Welcome to this TensorFlow Deep Learning tutorial. In my previous AI tutorial, I showed you how to uh, create a neural network without using any library. That is good for learning purpose, but when you are doing it for any project, uh, we need a library to make our code more efficient. So today I'm going to teach you how to install and quickly get started with tensorflow which is a google uh, open source library and you can write any neural network code using that library so let's get started in this tutorial i'll be using uh, two things that is one anaconda and another thing is pycharm the first thing i'll tell you to go is go to this anaconda.org and click download anaconda it will open up the download window and you will see the windows version the mac os version and the linux version whichever uh, os you are using just uh, select that and download that version and here you can select a uh, 3.6 or 2.7 uh, whatever you use is actually doesn't matter when you create a new environment uh, but uh, make sure you use the graphical in installer so that we uh, we have that uh, anaconda navigator and that will help us to uh, manage the environments we'll get into that and next thing I will request you to go to this uh, search by charm in Google and you'll see this first jetbeans.com slash pycharm just click download now and here also you'll find Windows Mac OS and Linux so select your OS and click download and you will good to go and now after you install Anaconda Navigator, you need to open this uh, Anaconda Navigator. It will open up a window. Okay, let's just. So when you open this Navigator, you will see this Environment option and when you click here you will see all the environments listed here and the whatever uh, the packages you have installed uh, you will see you will see on the uh, right side so right now uh, for your case you will only see this root you won't see this uh, other environment this is something that I created for myself uh, what this environments are these are the different python version and packages that you want to use for your particular specific project but uh, that is not uh, you want to use for other projects so you separate them with environments so uh, let's say i have one project for uh, deep learning i am creating this environment for that and i install those packages what i only need for this kind of uh, project and let's say i want uh, another uh, environment another i want to do or I want to work in another environment uh, where I have I want to work with uh, Python 2.7 and some other uh, packages which is uh, going to contradict with uh, the my previous project with the deep learning so I will create another environment where I will install only those packages so when uh, when I'm using this environment this uh, whatever package I installed in this uh, root environment will not uh, affect uh, this uh, deep learning environment and whatever uh, packages I installed in this environment will not affect this environment so this is kind of isolated uh, kind of structure so let's create a new environment and let's select uh, whatever Python version you want that is why I was saying that whatever you can uh, while installing the anaconda you can select any Python version you want because later we will be going to select uh, the Python version we want uh, anyway so let's create this give it a name go to this tutorial let's say let's create it so it's creating the environment now ok 
Okay, so while the environment is getting created, uh, you can go to my website and check all the content of this web uh, of this tutorial from my website. Everything is documented here. I will put the link in the description. So it's fetching all the tools we require for this environment along with Python. So we have all these packages and now we can install other packages over on top of it. One extra thing I want to add is uh, if you are seeing this, you can click the channel, you will only see this default uh, channel. These two won't be there. So let me delete them. And you can add more channels. So these channels are the repositories uh, where we can search for packages. So default channel will have some repositories and we can add more channels which has some other packages that are not in the default channel. So, so some of the packages have like the package, uh, the channel that I was using like info. This has some useful uh, packages for OpenCV and you can add another one which is Conda Forge. This one is also a good one. Now, we want to install TensorFlow. What we will do, we will go to all and we will search for TensorFlow here. And we have this one and this one. We are going to use this one. This is the one that I want. And if you directly click this uh, checkbox, you will so um, install the whatever the current uh, latest version is but if you want to install a specific version you can right click on it and click on the mark for a specific version and you can select any version you want so right now i'm selecting the latest version and another thing okay that's fine that's what we do for now so while it is uh, installing tensorflow i want to show you something that is PyCharm. If you open PyCharm, let me go back. If you open PyCharm for the first time, you'll see this screen. Now we want to create a new project. So click on the new project, and you'll see this uh, new project wizard, where you can select the interpreter that you want to use, the Python interpreter, and the location of your project. Select the location, whatever, whichever uh, place you want. Uh, let's say I'm selecting it in desktop. Uh, go to custom flow tutorial. Click open. So this is fine. This is not uh, something that you were interested in. What we are interested in is here. So here we will find all the environments that are uh, listed in our codecus. Um, right now it's not showing that uh, this environment here. Uh, the first one that you are seeing is Anaconda bin Python. That is the root environment. The second one is the um, environment that I deleted earlier. It's still showing. It's not updated the list. And the third one is that Anaconda uh, environment and root DPI. This is this one and rest of the things are the uh, system and the Python version that I installed separately other than Anaconda. So I don't want that. So as this environment is not listed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it again. Oh, another thing, I have to apply this. Uh, here is PyCharm. Open PyCharm. Create project. Now click. Okay, we have this. There are two. It doesn't matter if there are two. Uh, if any one you select, it will work. So I'm selecting this one. It will refresh all the packages that are installed in that uh, environment so that it can show you real time errors. It will create. And now. Uh, just close it 
uh, whatever package is installed in this environment, we can use that in this uh, IDE. What PyCharm is right now doing is, uh, it is loading all the packages that are installed in our uh, Anaconda environment. So like TensorFlow and Python version and all the Python packages is loading it in its memory so that uh, whenever we are including a package, if it is not there, it can show us that uh, Python is, uh, that package is not available. Okay, so TensorFlow uh, is installed. Now what we can do is, let's test it. I click on this uh, project folder and click new Python file. Name it test. So it will create one file for you. Okay, so let's test our first code to check if uh, TensorFlow is actually working or not. Import TensorFlow. Okay, it's showing. That means good. As TF. This will be a short form, so we don't want to. Uh, every time we want to use TensorFlow, we don't want to write TensorFlow. We'll just use TF. And let's create a hello world program. Hello TF dot constant TF dot constant, and we'll set it as string. Hello, hello, Coracus. Okay, we created a constant with the TensorFlow constant. Now to run any constant or to evaluate any value of the constant, we need a session, TensorFlow session. So we can uh, start a TensorFlow session by uh, name it, naming it Sess, whatever you name you want to give it. And we need to get a session object. So tf.session and it will give us, uh, okay, these things are uh, not required, okay, fine. And now, this session will execute the value of this variable and it will give us the after ex evaluating the value it will give us hello code so we can print the value using the sets variable says dot run and we will put the hello variable so it will evaluate it will evaluate the value of the hello and it will run it in the session and whatever value it gets it will give it as an output so we will print it and we will see uh, let's see let's check it run it let me move this here uh, move it here and another thing is we have to select one start script go to the run select run and select the script you want to run for the project. Now once you select it, you will see this will become green. So now it's running. We should see hello Kodakus here. Yeah, this will show you hello Kodakus. Next video, we will see the basic concepts of TensorFlow like uh, placeholder, variables and operations and scope. Until then, have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.